We're here talking about 30XX, which is the successor to 20XX. This is a game that I very much love. What are we talking new in this one? So, big new things, it's sort of like 10,000 foot view. Obviously, you've got the brand new art style going on. Uh, so we've got uh, Glauber Kotaki, the, the artist animator of like Rogue Legacy, Duelist, Chasm, those great things. As our art director this time around, we have an incredible environment artist, Fabian Jastrzemski, who lives in Germany. They are making very, very beautiful pictures for us. That's kind of the, the big thing you're gonna see first. Sure. Uh, this time around, Ace and Nina have entirely unique, distinct movesets. So you know, in 20XX, the two characters control very similarly. Ace has a sword, he has all melee weapons, but he still gets the same boss powers, all the same moves, right? Here in 30XX, Ace has a regenerating energy mechanic, so he can sort of very fluidly use all of his new moves without really worrying about the energy thing. And Nina can fuse boss powers together. So instead of just having like three boss powers that you really dig and that's it, now Nina can take any power she's not using and use it as a support for another power. So for example, uh, in the demo, you start with that uh, the, the freeze wave, right? The crystal wave. So that has a freezing ability. If you combine that with the aiming gear, which can shoot in eight directions, now you can shoot the freeze wave in eight directions. And so you can imagine how the ability to specifically aim any power could be cool. The idea of being able to take any power and now it also freezes things is cool. So you end up getting value out of those other powers, even if they're not directly mapped to a button. So like the play style differences are big, the art style update is big. The last big thing is that you know in 20XX, uh, every pair of bosses shares a stage theme, right? Like you play through eight levels, you have two Agni Swords, two Sky Temples, that sort of thing. No more, every boss has their own unique stage theme, their unique platforms, hazards, all that good stuff. One of the things I appreciate in the co-op play is the ability to go from one point to join your other player. Yes. Yeah. It's so critical, it's just a, it's a big accessibility thing, right? So these games, these games are hard. They are, tend to be very difficult. Uh, and it's really, it's this big core thing about being able to enjoy the game with somebody of a widely different skill level, right? So if one player is super good at the platforming sections and somebody else is new to platforming games, isn't quite as adept, they can still enjoy the game together. That's the big thrust there. As long as one of you can make it through, you can both make it through. And the thing that people notice right away about the game is the change in art style. Sure, of course. Why did you make that decision? Uh, we've always felt that this kind of really high quality pixel aesthetic is just, it's a very good thematic bit for the game. We've always felt this way. Uh, so when it was, I guess we're talking about late 2018, uh, I saw a tweet from Glauber saying, hey, uh, I have a couple hours a week free. Does anybody have work for me? And I said, oh my God, what if Glauber Kotaki would want to work with me? Like, I gotta shoot my shot, I gotta send a message. Yeah. And so I said, hey, we made 20XX, we're sort of starting to prototype some new things, so we kicked around a few other ideas too, but a direct sequel is one of them, ah, and it really, really latched on. We both really enjoyed working on it, uh, and so here we are. I found the right artist to make the pixel art transition. Yeah. Yeah. I know we're very early in the stage. Yeah. Do you have a roadmap in mind? I can say we are, I don't know, I'll say 70% sure that we'll be somewhere in between this fall and next spring in early access. Okay. So we're definitely doing early access again. Sure. Uh, the feedback we got from our fans on 20XX is why the game was good. Uh, I am, I'm not the kind of designer who can just walk into a padded room and come out with a masterpiece. I'm the kind of designer that can make a really excellent skeleton that's fun to play, fun to interact with, and then get to my fans and say, help me make this good. So we're doing it again. So yeah, early access sometime between fall and next spring, 70% chance, we'll see. And if people want more access on the game and info, yeah. where can they go? Best things, uh, the Discord is uh, discord.gg slash 20xx. Uh, the uh, Steam page, you can find us on Steam, 30xx Steam. We're also, what, bit.ly slash get30xx, uh, batterystaplegames.com, our mailing list. Follow me on Twitter, batterystaple underscore G. I think that's all the good stuff. Yeah. Thank you so much. Of course, of course. I of can't course. wait. Thank you so much for coming again, man. Thank it's you. always good to talk to you.